Question 1. You must turn on your headlights. Option A. Only when it is completely dark outside. Option B. When it is too dark to see from 1,000 feet away. Option C. When it is too dark to see from 500 feet away. The correct answer is. Option B. When it is too dark to see from 1,000 feet away. Using headlights when you cannot see 1,000 feet away can improve your visibility, alert other drivers of your presence, and ensure that you are in compliance with legal requirements. Always use headlights in low light conditions to ensure your safety and the safety of others on the road. Question 2. When can you drive using only parking lights? Option A. 30 minutes after sunset or 30 minutes before sunrise. Option B. On foggy days. Option C. Not under any circumstances. The correct answer is. Option C. Not under any circumstances. Using parking lights instead of headlights can impair your visibility and make it difficult for other drivers to see your vehicle, increasing the risk of accidents. Question 3. You are driving at night on a dimly lit street and using high beams. You should dim your lights when you are within 500 feet of Option A. A vehicle approaching you from behind. Option B. An oncoming vehicle. Option C. A sharp curve or hill. The correct answer is. Option B. An oncoming vehicle. You should dim your high beam headlights to low beams when you are within 500 feet of an oncoming vehicle. Because when driving in close proximity to other vehicles, high beam headlights can be blinding and cause a temporary loss of vision. Question 4. When you need to use your windshield wipers, due to fog, rain, or snow, you must Option A. Turn on your low beam headlights. Option B. Turn on your high beam headlights. Option C. Turn on your emergency flashers. The correct answer is Option A. Turn on your low beam headlights. Turning on your low beam headlights during adverse weather conditions can improve your visibility, help other drivers see you better, ensure that you are in compliance with legal requirements, and reduce the risk of accidents on the road. Question 5. What is the best advice for driving when heavy fog or dust occurs? Option A. Try not to drive until the conditions improve. Option B. Do not drive too slowly because other drivers may hit you. Option C. Alternate your low and high beams to improve your vision. The correct answer is. Option A. Try not to drive until the conditions improve. If the conditions become too hazardous, consider pulling over to a safe location and waiting until the fog or dust clears before continuing your journey. Remember, your safety and the safety of others on the road is of utmost importance. Question 6. When should you turn on your headlights on mountain roads and tunnels? Option A. Only on cloudy days. Option B. Only at night. Option C. Always, regardless of weather conditions. The correct answer is. Option C. Always, regardless of weather conditions. Tunnels are often poorly lit and can be dark, especially if there is no natural light source. Turning on your headlights can improve your visibility, making it easier to see other vehicles, pedestrians, or obstacles in your path. Question 7. You should tap your brake pedal three or four times when Option A. You want to warn other drivers about a hazard ahead. 
Option B. You need to stop quickly. Option C. You want to make a right turn. The correct answer is Option A. You want to warn other drivers about a hazard ahead. You should tap on your brake three or four times or turn on your emergency flashers as a way to warn other drivers that you are slowing down or coming to a stop. This technique is known as brake tapping or brake checking and is often used in situations where you need to quickly reduce your speed or avoid a potential collision. Question 8. You should turn off your high beam headlights and turn on your low beam headlights when you are. Option A. Within 500 feet of an oncoming vehicle. Option B. Within 300 feet of a vehicle you are following. Option C. Both of the above. The correct answer is. Option C. Both of the above. When driving in close proximity to other vehicles, high beam headlights can be blinding and cause a temporary loss of vision, hence you must dim your high beam headlights. Question 9. When is it illegal to drive using only parking lights? Option A. At night. Option B. In residential areas. Option C. Always. The correct answer is Option C. Always. Parking lights should only be used when parking a vehicle. Using parking lights instead of headlights can impair your visibility and make it difficult for other drivers to see your vehicle, increasing the risk of accidents. Question 10. When driving, you must turn on your headlights. Option A. Whenever you turn on your wipers due to adverse weather conditions. Option B. 30 minutes after sunset and 30 minutes before sunrise. Option C. Both of the above. The correct answer is. Option C. Both of the above. You must turn on your headlights whenever you turn on your wipers and also 30 minutes after sunset and 30 minutes before sunrise to help other drivers see your vehicle, especially when the sun is low on the horizon. Question 11. You should turn on your emergency flashers when Option A. It is raining heavily. Option B. You are driving on a narrow mountain road. Option C. You need to warn other drivers about collision or a hazard ahead. The correct answer is Option C. You need to warn other drivers about collision or a hazard ahead. You should turn on your emergency flashers or tap on your brake three or four times when you can see a collision or hazard ahead and want to warn the drivers behind you. Question 12. What should you do when you need to stop your vehicle because of vehicle trouble? Option A. Turn on your high beam headlights. Option B. Turn on your emergency flashers. Option C. Use your horn to alert other drivers. The correct answer is. Option B. Turn on your emergency flashers. Turning on your emergency flashers when you need to stop because of vehicle trouble will make your vehicle more visible to other drivers and help prevent collision. Question 13. Can you use your turn signals instead of emergency flashers? If your vehicle doesn't have emergency flashers, option A, Yes, you can use your turn signals. Option B. No, you should not use your turn signals. Option C. It depends on the situation. The correct answer is. Option A. Yes, you can use your turn signals.
If your vehicle does not have emergency flashers, you can use your turn signals instead to warn other drivers that you are stopping due to vehicle trouble. Question 14. What should you do when a road sign states that headlights must be on? Option A. Ignore the sign and continue driving if it is a sunny day. Option B. Turn on your high beam headlights. Option C. Turn on your low beam headlights. The correct answer is Option C. Turn on your low beam headlights. When a road sign asks you to turn on your headlights, you should turn on your low beam headlights. Low beam headlights provide sufficient lighting for most driving conditions and are appropriate for use in normal traffic situations. High beams can temporarily blind other drivers and can be a hazard, particularly in situations with heavy traffic. Question 15. If it is hard to see 1,000 feet ahead of you, what should you do? Option A. Pull over and wait until you can see better. Option B. Turn on your headlights. Option C. Proceed like normal. The correct answer is Option B. Turn on your headlights. You must turn on your headlights if it is hard to see 1,000 feet ahead of you to increase your visibility to other drivers and make sure they can see you. Thank you for practicing with us. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more practice videos to help you easily pass the DMV written test. Please visit our website www.dmw-permit-practice-test.com for more resources to help you prepare for the test.